What a ratty old dust cover. Well, let's start by removing that. Underneath I have a Triumph Special. Well, this thing is basically an Adler Special with a Triumph badge on it and the Triumph colors. So, uh, it's very very dirty. Let's start by removing the ribbon cover. That's easy. As you can see, there is a fair amount of nasty little stuff in there. Some of the keys don't do anything at all. Some do work, and those are very, very light. So I would like to get this thing clean. So let's start by taking the shell off. So this thing is a bit weird because the shell has integrated carriage rails, which is kind of cool. These probably won't bend. <laughs> they probably break before they bend. So, yeah. I'm also not going to fly completely blind on this one, because there is a rather nice other special uh, maintenance manual available online. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Uh, and now, I'm going to start taking this thing apart. First thing I'm going to do is remove these two screws. Well, not the screws necessarily, but the spacebar. There we go. That's one. Next thing I want to tackle is the color selector. Put some extra light here, here. There we go. Because this thing sticks out over the main case. Come on, I removed the screw, now you get off. There we go. Right, now I have the machine on its back. And it's going to be a matter of getting the feet off, and those feet are also connected to the frame. If you're wondering, I already wd 40 the entire thing. There we go. That's one. So the tiny screws hold the feet onto the frame. The big holes are for the uh, bolts that you need to remove to get the, yeah, the inner workings, the type bar mechanism out of the machine. Moving on to number two. Yet, come on. Come off. There we go. Crumbling foam feet. Because why not? Okay. I'm wondering if I should take the back feet off. Uh, I don't see the use in doing that for the moment, so I'm gonna leave them on. And now it's a matter of getting these four bolts out.
this one. Two. Moving on to these two over here. Number three. And I guess now it should come out. Of course, it doesn't. something just figuring out what it is that I missed and I would guess that that would be all that's holding oh I see no I don't see hmm. odd 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 but this is the entire mechanism so I should be able to remove it now Oh, yep, yeah, it's coming. <coughs> there it is. Might be better if I put it back like this now. If all goes well, maybe I should take these out first. So they don't get in the way. Let's go. Do we need to stick around? There we go. Ta-da! Oh, that makes it easy to clean this unit. That's cool. Now let's see what else we can take apart. Right, I've gotten the type bar mechanism out. Now let's shift my attention to the carriage. I already figured out that this is just, just yanking it out. The knobs just twist out. There we go. Tiny little grenade in there. Same for the one on the other end. Boink. And now I can just lift the button out if all goes well. There we go, that's the button. Let's see what else we can get out. This paper shield is just loosely in there, I guess. Very thick paper shields, that's nice. There we go. Paper shield is out. Well, so far this thing has been made for easy maintenance. Which is really, really necessary because it's really, really dirty in here. <laughs> right, let's see what else we can do. To take the side panel off on the right side, I need to remove these two screws before I can take the side panel off. I need to remove 
this thing and this thing. First I need to remove this one because the screw of this little lever over here is on the bottom. So I'll do these two first. One. And that's two. Now I should be able to get to the little screw over there. Ish. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Come out, come out, come on. Close. Now you should come off too. Ta -da! Now I can focus my attention to the screws on the side. Well, that's not going great. Come on. Oh dear. Let's see if this one wants to go. Yep, that one goes. I'm going to try to get this one out. Oh, it's really stuck. Is there any way I can get to it from the other side? Let's see. Absolutely not. Of course not. No. Some more DWD-40. Get it soaky. Let's focus our attention to the other side, maybe. Same scenario over here. First, those two over there. Before I do anything else. Out. Uh, well, I hope those two screws aren't going to be a pain in the ass, like on the other side. screwdriver bit yes there we go oh, 
that. And let's move to the other side again. Let's see if WD-40 did its job. Yeah, that's not how you should remove screws for any future reference. I'm gonna need to file those little things back off. But for now, the side plates are off. This thing has been shattered in the past, apparently. And I think this one used to have some sort of rubber against it or something. And violence and shit is flinging off there <laughs> all right that's that the rest seems to be some sort of completely metal cast frame <laughs> right. I'm not gonna mess with that I'm trying to take it completely off Now I think I have sufficient access over here. Let's put this thing on its back. Uh, I think I can access about anything that I want. For cleaning purposes at least. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that for the moment. Right. Cool. Thanks for watching.